With Bama's dominance in recent years, many people here have kind of forgotten how historic this rivalry actually is. So let's take a look at some interesting facts about the third Saturday in October. The first matchup between the teams was way back in 1901. For those of you math whizzes, that's 112 years ago. It ended in a 6-6 to -six tie, which is somewhat anticlimactic. What? You mean to tell me that Alabama only leads this series by 11? Well, yeah, it's 49 to 38 and 7. Well, this is ridiculous. What are we doing? Tennessee and Alabama were both charter members of the SEC in 1933. Seems like just yesterday. <laughs> the memories. The rivalry is known as the third Saturday in October. But this is the fourth Saturday in October. What? Is it really? What are you doing, scheduling department? Just go with it. It used to be played on the third Saturday all the time. Wasn't there something about victory cigars? Oh yeah, in the 1950s, Alabama athletic trainer Jim Goostry started the tradition of victory cigars for each team after, the, after a win. But, you know, both teams stopped for NCAA violations. You know, stopped, wink wink. I hope you at least learned a little bit, but if those facts weren't enough, let's talk about victories. As far as all-time victories in the SEC, Alabama ranks number one. Right behind them, Tennessee. As far as national championships go, for SEC teams, Alabama has the most. Number two, you guessed it, it's Tennessee. So the next time you think that this rivalry is outdated, remember, it's still the third Saturday in October.